What up guys, my name is Kong and today I will be talking about The Turtle Hunter, The Rise of the Titan. This is, I believe it's produced by Netflix. This is a full, full feature movie. It's a, uh, it's, I would say this is the end of the Troll Hunter uh, uh, series, you know, I think the first season, second season, third season, this is the, the final movie. This is the movie that common this is the end, I would say. So, let's talk about what I did like about this movie. What I like about it is you get to see the same characters that I like. I find them, into, I find them very unique i feel like very uh the, the characters are really well developed you if you watch the, the tv the series or the show then you, you understand what i'm talking about the character hasn't changed they have they have grown but they haven't changed they haven't grown they're still the same you know uh, um jim this uh a uh, Timbo, all these characters that are in the movie they're still the same not the same but grow they've grown and I like that. You get to see some new characters a little bit. Not not so much. You see two one new characters in here is the dragon, but that that's beside the point. And then I like the conflict. You know, the you, the conflict is very obvious. They tell you about it. You know, it's the rise of the Titan to remake the worlds. I like that. And then you got to they with the team the the game. They have to figure out a way to de to defeat these Titan the three Titan. And I like that because like, okay, you know, we, we know what's going on. We're following the art, the character we know and like. We gotta, we, we, want, and we want to see how they can resolve the issue. Who's going to live, who's going to die. And there are some sad moments in this movie. There is some sad moments. I like that. Because this movie really shows that it's still, it's about humanity. It's about, uh, not humanity, but it's about... Us as an individual, you know, uh, yeah, either you're an alien species or not, you still have that, um, that that emotion, that that the living being, a sentient being, basically, you know. So I like that aspect here. There are some funny moments in this movie. There are some questionable moments in this movie, but it is fine. It's quirky, and that's okay. I like that. What else? I like the design of the Titan. I like the design of those three characters. You know, with the uh, one is the uh, fire, the other is ice, and then one is green. Natures. Um, I like that a lot. It's just very, very tied to the, the myth, uh, to the mytho of the troll hunter, and I like that a lot. The troll. It's just give it a sense of a bigger scale and a bigger uh, uh, risk. Uh, they save the world, but this is more on. Giant, a little bit more gigantic level, and more on the bigger scale, so to speak. More mystical, more, more, more magical. So I like that aspect about this movie. So, and I like the ending. I thought the ending was very sad, but then it's sort of you, you see it. Uh, he sacrificed. Him. It's just really, really, really good. I say go watch it. So what I don't like about this movie is that um, it is. They try to, there's some part they try to throw a little bit of comedy relief in there, but the, it, it, the comedy relief is not at the appropriate time. It's just, I feel like it, they're just there for a sort of comedy, com, comedy, comedic relief for us, the audience. So it's just, it wasn't like, it, they, they time it on purpose. It wasn't fluid. I guess what I'm saying. That's the only thing I can really think about. I'm just being nitpicky here. I wish they got, I wish... That's just me. I wish they show us sort of the the ending of um, not that. That's I guess we do see the ending, but we don't see the uh, the alternative uh, past. You know, which what Jim came from. So we so don't get it. I wish we got to see a little bit more. You know, so it could give us more because I really like the characters. I really like the 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 story of these characters. So I would like to see more, but we don't. Uh, what we do get is sort of the reliving of the first season. So I feel like that's just kind of like, you know, I wish they gone in a different route. It's like, I don't know how they sort of come to this sort of conclusion. I don't know. But that's just one thing I want like to point out to you guys. So th you may like it, you may not. I, I, I was on a border on him it's like uh okay then it's just a repeat of history well, what's going on i thought you, you you are a writer you're supposed to 
write something different. You're supposed to explore the the unexplored, but then yet you sort of fall back to something that's already been done. So, what was the rating I give this movie, guys? I give it a, uh, a seven out of ten. I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny at times. I thought that was very great. I liked the characters. I thought the character was great because they're like how I imagined them to be in the first season, second season, third season. So they kept it consistent. That's what I like about this movie. They kept it consistent with the characters. So a 7 out of 10, I say go out and watch this on uh, Netflix. If you're a big troll hunter, uh, uh, um, a fanatic, it is produced by Guillermo del Toro. So go, I say he, he, he had good, good material there. Go check it out, guys. Anyway, guys, please like. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channels. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so. Thank you so much and take care, guys. Bye-bye.